Hi guys, uh, this week uh, I'm working on the threshold first of all uh, and uh, the water tank, the fresh water tank, uh, mostly in an effort to get uh, the, the driver's side wall finished, including the bed, which I'll continue, well probably not next week, but then the, the week after that. Uh, Joey, the supervisor, um, so let's see uh, what I've done this week. So the subfloor has a rabbit in it uh, and the threshold will be placed on top of that to keep the subfloor in place. Need to set up my dado cutter. Okay, and my outside blade. Insert. In this case, to and then adjust the fence and then some sawing. Sometimes you can't help it, but uh, wood is wood, so sometimes it breaks off. We'll have to find some way to uh, repair that. Need a hole to access the uh, lowering mechanism for the spare tire, and that's one five eighth of an inch hole, and then use a force nut bit to make the hole. This is hard maple, uh, which is heavy. It's a three quarter inch board, so I have to make it a little bit lighter. So what I'll do is I'll make some grooves at the bottom. So that's the excess for the spare tire release and I use the original cap to cover it up. These are the supports uh, for both the front as well as the rear and what I did is I made one side about half an inch lower than the other side, that's for the flow of the water.
This is one of the metal straps that will hold the fresh water tank in place. You can see that the tank already bulges on the side and there's no water in there and that's why I have these two sideboards to keep that in check a bit. So now I cut these supports to length. Set up uh, my dado and now I use a test piece first. So the strap fits in here. Then I'm adding two stops to prevent uh, sliding of the uh, fresh water tank towards the front or towards the back. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.